it's me. You know who I am and you know where I am. The last five videos I've put up, I'm like, hi, I'm at my desk. Okay. So, of course, what do I have today? Another thrift haul half price savers on Monday in my neck of the woods. Lucky me. So I think I spent like $38 to $40, somewhere around there. Um, I just chucked a box of something. I'll just show you. This was in a box new. And I guess this is, it's called One Canoe Two is the company. And they do a whole bunch of different uh, globes. And they're all the same size, but they're all a little bit different. So you can decorate with them. And this is like plastic. But it was only two, it was $4.49 and then I got it half price. So two and a quarter. So I looked online just to see what they're going for. And they're going like $13 and up. So I'm probably going to put eight to 10 on that. You know, it's meant to look cute. I love when you uh, find ones like this and then they'll put on the box, you know, not to be used for educational purposes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this next item I have seen around before. I am afraid if it's going to work or not, but if it doesn't, it might even be worth changing the little clock mechanism. Look at that, it's a bath! Because when you're in the bathroom, there's no better place to know exactly what the time is. I mean, if you're into that, that's okay. $4.99, I paid, of course, $2.50. Isn't that cute? Remember these in all different colors. So I'm not sure. I might look this one up and see. I know Mr. Pudgy Picker is like, if I get a clock and it doesn't work, he's my man. But I, I just really, and I've said this a million times before, I have to actually do it, is to take a AA battery or a few of them and put them in my purse. I have a hair that when I turn my head, it's, it's, it's swinging. <laughs> No editing here. Um, so, you know, if it if it needs a little cleaning, because some of the contacts where you have to put the battery in, it gets a little ucky. So I should just start carrying those. But I just see it, I'm like, pretty, put in cart, bye. You know, and then I get home and then I'm like, wait, I don't know if this is going to work. Um, let me see what else. Yes, I found another court cage. I think I've sold like three or four in the past month. So this is funny because it has a... A string on it wouldn't that be funny if they bought it from me and then donated it and then I bought it again wouldn't that be funny oh that I bought I've sold ones like this before so that one's very adorable and they had I don't know what it is with this 49 stuff I've never seen it's always 99 199 1099 I never see 49 and now it's popping up everywhere so they just like to make my math more difficult. So that's $1.75. So very cute. I'll put a handful in there, even though it says corks. People are like, oh, that's cool. What is it? Sorry, I'm making fun of people not knowing things. I really shouldn't do that. That's not nice. <laughs> they still don't look. Okay. I got... I don't buy book off book offens. Book ends often, but these were just too cute. They look like they were originally from uh, TJ Maxx. Can't tell how much because somebody scratched them out, but they are these very adorable um, lighthouses. And I like how it's got the, uh, you know, the paint to look like it's scuffed. So these were $5.49 and they were uh, rubber band together. I took them apart because I bought a shirt for myself, so I wanted to wrap them separate instead of them clunking around. Because you know I break things. So these were only, here's the 49 again. So that's 250, 275. So not bad. I like those a lot. They do still sell. Even if you find a single one, as long as it's a heavier one and it's kind of cool looking, somebody will buy it because people sometimes will put on a shelf up against a wall or something and they just want one and then if they have a set they'll use the other one the other direction there's a decorating tip there you go free of charge and why did i rubber band those back together not a good idea um i have a 
cork somewhere, a couple corks. Sometimes I'll get, uh, I'll get candles that have the cork in them and I hang on to the cork, especially if it's one that has the bark side. It just really looks cool. So I think I might have one that will fit this or I could shave it down. So if I buy something that doesn't have one, this one says driving range change. And it was again, $349. $1.75. So I'm thinking the one I have might be a little big, but I could probably cut it down. So yeah, I was thinking if I can make this adorable enough, I might even give this to my son. Um, he, uh, hang on, does it say available at Cracker Barrel? Hmm. I don't know. I think when people are, what does it say? Available at crackersonline.com. Crackers online. Well, I don't want to advertise them if I don't know what they do, but yeah. So my son, he he doesn't necessarily he'll golf, but he likes the driving range. There's those big ones that have the big netting. Um, I know there was one in Columbus him and his friends went to, and now I know there's a couple up in my area, up by the lake. Um, that you just stand there and whoo. And the only time I ever did that, I was probably eight. <laughs> and I was trying to hit it really hard because at eight, that's what you think your golf is. You just whack it and that's what it's supposed to do. And I swung around, hit myself in the head, did a spin and landed on the ground. That was the first and last time I ever tried to uh, drive a ball. <laughs> you could see me doing it too, couldn't you? Um, I got two signs. I don't real. I say this every time. I really don't buy signs that much anymore. Um, but if it's related to something where I have a little vignette, like if I have cats and dogs and it's a little cat or dog sign or my wine or men's things, you know, it says number one dad. I, I sometimes will pick those up to go in those areas. And that's where these two fit in. This one was... Oh, dollar ninety nine. So that one was a dollar. It's by Kathy. Permitives by Kathy. This one says yoga class. I thought you said pour a glass. So that'll go definitely with my wine stuff. And this one says I work hard so my dog can have a better life. Yes, that's also a primitives by Kathy, and that one was a dollar fifty. So I put like five six bucks on these. I don't charge anywhere near what you would buy them new at because that's crazy. So, I just noticed something about this. Just notice this. I'm going to show you because this shows you when I go into the thrift store, my brain is not focused on really looking at stuff close, and I shouldn't do that. These, is, this is an easy fix. See, it's got this little piece of, like, tile. Now look here. There's one. There's one. There's one that's there. So there's one, two, three of them missing. So what I might do is take these off and then I have some of the, they're like the little glass beads, but they have a flat spot. So I will probably replace them all so they look alike because I think the ones I got are blue. So yeah, don't be like Pudgy Picker and don't just get excited and throw it in your cart like I said. So. You know what? I still probably would have bought that with that, you know, but when you get home, I had something the other day. I didn't even video it. It was something, it was a little cute little thing. And I thought, oh, I'm going to take this little fake plant out and I'll put water and I'll put my succulents in there. Not succulents, my uh, lucky bamboo to sell in the store. And there was a big crack, so we glued it back together. Fine for a fake plant, but not fine for a actual plant. <laughs> um, here's my receipt. I spent... $38.49. That's one bag empty. Got one more. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I, well, I've mentioned this particular thing I'm going to say. I do dumpster dive. People know that. A lot of the CVS and Walgreens and those type of stores uh, get medicine and things shipped in a box that is in, uh, has a cooler in it. And I found a bigger one and I have an extra bin downstairs, and I found how to make a uh, cat shelter for outside. 
and basically you're, you have the box and then the, uh, pla the uh, styrofoam fits in there and then you stuff around it like hay or paper to insulate it and then you need straw or something inside. If you uh, put something outside uh, like that to protect the animals, don't put fabric in because if the fabric gets wet and there's an animal on it, it could freeze to them. I know, doesn't that sound horrible? So I found the video on how to do it. I might do like a how-to just to show you how I do it. So I've been like, where in the heck am I going to get straw? Because I don't need a whole bale. So I was uh, lucky to find <laughs> at the thrift store. You know, you just look and it happens. Uh, again, four forty nine. So this was two and a quarter. And I know this will, it's, it's shedding. You know what? Hang on a second. I am going to throw that in that bag because it's going everywhere. I hope you can't hear my husband's movie. He's watching, I think, Mission Impossible for the 17,557th time. But who's counting? Anywho, I saw this and I'm thinking my daughter might want it. It says Avon. It's actually meant to be... Like a measuring cup and my daughter loves bees she has a project coming up on youtube and a other a few other places that i want to tell you about and a uh, part of her branding is a bee so i wanted to see if she wanted this or if she just wants to use it for pens or if she wants to put it away in her hope chest remember hope chests Do, are you old enough to know what a hope chest is can you google it yeah. well let's google it hope chest. I had a hope chest when I was in my teen years. So what is a hope chest? Well, it looks like there's a whole lot of actual chests. A young woman's accumulation of clothing and domestic furnishings, such as silver and linen, kept in anticipation of her marriage. See, you might, you might want to learn something today. Ooh, it's warm up here or I'm just gesticulating a lot. So, yeah, so, you know, so we had a pink bathroom when I was first married because, darn it, I worked at Kmart and I, on layaway, I laid away an entire bathroom with a pink shit, pink stuff. And Mr. Pudgy Picker was so sweet that even recently he said, I absolutely hated that bathroom. <laughs> But that was 30 some years ago. 30, mm, mm, as my mom used to do when she'd go to say her age, she'd just do that. I've been thinking about that lady a lot here recently. So, how much was it? $3.49, so $1.75. Yeah, on the bottom it says Avon. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just make sure it doesn't say not for food use. That's like you have to be careful nowadays buying cutting boards because a lot of them now, because cutting boards are used for decoration, and it says not for food use, so make sure that you do not poison yourself, because that would be sad. I'm just grabbing what's in this bag, because it's all little stuff. I did buy, I'm not gonna take all of them out. I have three total bags of these, $3.99, so what did I pay? Two, four, six dollars, and I'm gonna open this one up because there's three boxes. You guessed it. Ooh, ooh, that's a nice gel pen. Yubi, Y O O B I. Maybe I won't use these for what I was going to. They look like a nice gel pen. I wonder. But there's literally there was like a whole bunch of these. It's blue ink. I got purple. I need a regular color piece of paper. You didn't tune in for all this, but that's okay. So yeah, it's a gel pen. Look at that. So I wonder if these are worth some money. I was just going to get these. It's Y-O-O-B-I. So I was just going to get these to take to the store. I think they're all the same. Yeah, they're all blue, but I was going to take them to uh, the antique mall because pens grow legs and run off all the time there. You know what? Let's look it up. We're going to look it up. 
Let's go to Google, and it's Y O O B I pens. Colorful pens. Ub.com. Uh, it's got a lot of. It looks like well, there's a pen shaped like a banana. Well, I don't have one of those. Uh, they have ones that are animals. They have. Uh, gel pens in a carrying case, 30 pack for 15 bucks. Neat. Hmm, these ones have little fruit on them. <laughs> this is this is an odyssey into my brain how it's been this week. So yeah. Hmm. UB hashtag UB gives. Yeah, very interesting. So, and my daughter loves pens. She probably knows this brand because. So yeah, that's what I was gonna do with these, but now I'm not sure. And it's just the pen cap. I think it several of them had the clicker, but here's what it looks like. You're not gonna be able to read it because it's backwards, but this is what the writing looks like. Yubi, isn't that interesting? So yeah, I love pens. Well, I'm going to look into that because I don't know how many are in a box, but I literally have nine boxes of these. Yeah. So, yeah. Isn't that fun when you find something and you're like, oh, I'm just going to use this in my house, or I'm going to use this, this brick to hold my door open, and then you find out it's worth like a lot of money, and you're like, I'll find another doorstop. <laughs> Okay, anywho, y'all are going to think I'm, I'm doing something I shouldn't around here with my silly, my silliness. Um, I've been selling a lot of note cards recently. Don't know why. So if I find a box, even if, if the box mostly looks full or even it has enough, but it may not be full, I just buy it anyway, especially if it's older. And I got this one for $2.00. And it is uh, the little box of rabbits. And it's cards that have rabbits on them. Now this happens to be from the Museum of Fine Art in Boston. If you find Boston, did I just say Boston? I'm not from Boston. <laughs> but anything, uh, a lot of these that, that are from museums, they're worth some money. Because if you were to buy this, in fact, somebody took the liberty of crossing it out this literally if you bought this because there's there's like 30 of you 50 note cards and envelopes five each of the ones that are here so this would probably be like 30 bucks 30 to 40 dollars if you bought it at the museum Not me. they're blank okay this is a bag it has some more. It was $2. These are not old, but they're very cute and very, ooh, they're new. They're very new. And they just looked like they were, you know, just, I don't know, the way they're packaged made me think, these look a little nicer. So the name is Spritz. Spritz Thank You Notes. And there's 50 in each, and there was two in here. So basically, these were a dollar each. So, and they do have... Uh, you can tell they got the tape on there. So they are sealed, but aren't they cool? I mean, these are nice for a guy, too, you know? Sometimes you, f you find something and a guy wants a few, and they're, like, got flowers and stuff on them. I still have that hair hanging here. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to put this video up just because it's it's got to go. It's got to go. What else? What else? I have three more packages. Um, these, I always look at the stuff on the wall, and I'm trying to find a lot of little things. I try and find stuff, especially garage sale season, or if I'm at an auction and it's a big box of just little tchotchke things. I try and pick those up on the cheap, because then I put six to seven items in a bag and they are mystery bags and I take them out to my booth and they sell within two to three weeks all of them gone I do ones that are themed men and women and I could even theme this one Christmas or holiday so it's got a few ornaments in there 
and then these, and then look at these, these cross stitch. There's that one. Oh, look at that one. And then there's a couple little animals. You know what this one looks like? It looks like, you remember when Avon used to have the little pins and it was a little animal and its head or something popped open and there was like either lip balm or, uh, you know, like the scent. You remember those? I'm very nostalgic today. Oh, here's a deer. So yeah, I got this whole bag for $2.50. So I will probably make up a few maybe holiday ones or just kind of sprinkle, you know, a piece or two in. So that's what those are for. I got, um, I needed a few more bags. And this, these were all clipped together. They're kind of... I don't know, crinkly, but they're fabric. Um, so I just needed a few bags to corral some things. So we have this medium. It's not much smaller than this one. This one, and then this one. Isn't that cool? And it says my my tag along. That's another company to look at. So maybe I'll look this up too. Maybe it's worth a million dollars. Who knows? So there's that, and the last item I got was this bag of stickers, and it was only two and a quarter. Did I say how much this was? This was a dollar for all three. So let's open it up real quick. I'm just going to go through these really quick because you're all falling asleep by now. I, I hear you. I see you out there. So we have a Wonder Woman, another Wonder Woman, a... Bon, Bondex? I don't know what that is. Ooh, my daughter would probably like this. Uh, warning, Tyrannosaurus Rex, activity is high. <laughs> she has a whole bunch of stickers on her bumper, so maybe. Oh, there's a few notepads. We have goals. And I am very busy. Oh, another Wonder Woman. Oh, this is another Bondex. There's two. There's two, two more that are in red. This is Twill Patch. These are not stickers. I'm going to look these up. I need to sell them. We have glass stickers. We have heart stickers in blue. Another Bondex. And then some gold hearts. So all of that was only $2.25. So yes, that is it. That is all. Never thought we'd get through it, but here we are at 23 minutes. So thank you for tuning in. If you stayed here this long, you are a true champ. Or you're a glutton for punishment. I don't know. Pick one. Um, I do have some more videos coming up. I have been very behind, so I'm trying to catch up. So please forgive me. Just, I'm, as my dad would say, I'm busier than a one-legged man in a butt-kicking contest. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope I made you laugh today. At least I can do that for you. Uh, make sure to leave a comment down below. Again, what item would you have picked up? Which would you have left behind? Is this of any interest to you, or do you only want the vintage -y certain cool ones? And you'd see that and go, ugh. Him, you know, we're all different. We're all different. So, uh, also thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, if you haven't already, click on the notification bell. And then as soon as I put up a video, you'll know. Don't be left out. I will see you guys next time. Uh, thanks for tuning in again. I appreciate you so much. And until next time, get out there, find some good stuff. And uh, happy picking. Bye.